What up y'all, it's Kim Nonstop. As you can see, I'm out of breath and very sweaty. Why is this? Cause I just did the workout I'm about to show you. It is my eight move snowboarding prep workout. So I just came off the slopes yesterday and I noticed that no matter how much I work out throughout the year, my butt was like totally whooped. Like everything was just like burning. So did a little research, tried to figure it out. You know, what am I feeling while I'm doing these runs, right? I feel my calves, I feel my quads, I feel the front of my shins, I feel my abs, I feel my obliques, I feel my arms, you know, from falling and having to pick myself up a few times. And so I created this workout for you guys. It's just eight moves. And you're gonna do it pretty quickly in an interval format, except there's no rest period, okay? So thus I'm like, freaking sweaty. You got 30 seconds of each move, that's it. 30 seconds of each move, including a one minute warm up. So before you hit the slopes this season, to prevent injury, to get yourself conditioned, I recommend you do this workout at least like, you know, six to eight times before you even hit the slopes. It'll be great supplement to whatever other cardio you're already doing, get you nice and toned and sweaty. Workout timer on the phone. I'm gonna press start. It's gonna give me one minute to warm up. You guys better have your towels and your water ready because we are going now. So, as you know, I like to do my fake jump rope, and we're doing these lateral jumps side to side because we want to warm up those calves, ankles, get you all ready and limber for all the crazy shit. Gonna do it on the slopes this winter. What? And you want to get your heart rate up. Um, if you have an actual jump rope, of course you can use it. I don't even know where I put mine. Plus, I get this crazy like thing right here called a fan that I usually get tangled up in. So I just don't even bother anymore. Ever since I left New York, I don't have those high ceilings. Like anyway, we are almost done with that warm up. I'll go a little bit faster. Still spinning like you have a rope. Why? Because it kind of warms up shoulders, biceps, gets the arms to feel a little bit of a burn. And then the first move is going to be squat jumps with a pulse. So that pulse is important to really work, burn into those quads. Jump. One, two, three. Jump. One, two, three. And I'm doing every workout. One, two, three, four. 30 seconds. So it's 30 seconds of each move. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'm sore <sighs> from snowboarding yesterday. Ha! Okay, and then the next move is tricep dips. Thank God, my legs need a break. Dipping it out here. And I'm doing these for 30 seconds again. Keep your butt close to whatever you're using. Because if you start going like this, you are cheating. This is good for all you rookies who fall a lot, <clears throat> like myself, and you have to get yourself off the ground a lot. Get yourself up. Straight down. Okay, so I'm gonna start on my right foot, or your right foot, and we're gonna go diagonal jumps like this. Diagonal jumps. Out and back. Out and back. Out and back. Out and back. Diagonal jump. So you're going slightly forward on a diagonal as I lose my balance. Good. Forward and back on a diagonal. Try to keep it controlled. You don't want to go busting your butt, and now I'm going to do it on your left leg. Out on diagonal and back in. Quads are working, stabilizing. Out and back. Focusing on something on the floor so you don't fall over. Lose your balance. Keep it all together, Kim. Got this. Uh, out and back. Out and back. Good. Now we're going to do these squat switches. You guys totally understand why, right? You get it. It's very similar to moves that you are going to be pulling on the slopes. So switching using your core using your glutes and getting nice and low, 
dropping your butt, bending your knees. Oh, I can't wait for this one to be over. Good, now you stay down and you lift your heels, drop them back down, lift your toes. Heels, toes, heels, toes. And you gotta hold that squat, that's the hardest part. Heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, oh, it's heels, toes, heels, toes. If you notice, I gotta kick my booty back just a little bit to get my toes up. Heels, toes, heels, butt on the floor, feet up, arms up, twisting, obliques. And now this is gonna get you to fire up those obliques as you're doing your turns and you're carving through the snow, through the powder, hopefully, hopefully not slush. You are gonna be using these muscles to maneuver your body in the way that you need to, to direct that board so you don't run into a tree. I know, you guys are wearing helmets. And keep going with this. And then your last move is a plank with hip rotation. So get into this plank position, drop your hips to one side, up and over to the other side. I keep my feet together so that I can just roll over my toes and still get that workout for the obliques. Squeezing, dropping down, up and over, up and over, up and over, up and over. That's it, good. And now we're gonna do the whole damn thing over again. Good. And that is my snowboarding workout. That's it for this week. I'm Kim Nonstop. Thanks for watching my snowboard workout. Hopefully you weren't just watching it. Hopefully you're doing it. Like this video, share it with a friend, subscribe to my channel, and come back every week for more badass workouts. Thanks Team Nonstop. Have a great week.